Hey guys, so I've had a few people ask for us to do a walkthrough of our little caravan and uh, we thought well the best time to do that is before a trip, before all of our gear is packed on board um, and before it's all salty and sandy. So come with us, come on board and we're going to show you through. So when choosing a boat for our adventures, it had to tick a lot of boxes, it had to do a lot of things really well. Uh, and that would be, obviously, fishing. Um, now, eff effectively, it is, it's a mini game boat, it's a, it's a, it's a, pocket, it's a pocket game boat, uh, being only 24 foot, not including swim platform and bowsprit, but um, it, had to be, it had to be towable. We had to be able to tow it legally with, uh, to sit under that 3,500 kilogram uh, towing capacity. Um, we had to be able to put it in, in a caravan park, we had to be able to live aboard, had to be comfortable um, and that meant such things as it needed to be beamy uh, because we needed cockpit space um, and obviously if you've, got a, if you've got a good beam then you're going to have, you're going to have a, a bigger amount of room throughout the boat. So we've had this boat fitted out with the Bennett Electric 9x12 trim tabs and if I'll be honest, we rarely use it. The, the boat itself is a very stable platform. Even when fully loaded, full of gear, we generally haven't found a need to use them a lot. Um, so if you were gonna get yourself into one of these boats, it really is, it really is an optional extra. Um, as standard, they come fitted with the Bravo 1 Mer Cruiser. Um, we've found this to be an excellent power plant. I'll show you the engine inside in a second. Um, now we've, we're running this with a 14 and 5 8 with a 16 pitch 4 blade and I've found that to sit right in the sweet spot um, for fuel burn, RPM, cruise, um, trolling, it basically ticks all the boxes. Um, I have had it thinned just a little bit with a little bit of cup as well and that, that absolutely did help too. Um, uh, moving across here we've got our live bait tank. Hey Jesse. <laughs> So over here we've got our live bait tank. Um, now this boat for us, it had to tick a lot of boxes. It had to be functional. Um, I didn't want a huge array of electrics on board um, because of course electrics, salt water, the environment, it, it's not a good mix. I didn't want to be maintaining things left, right and center every time we used the boat. Um, so the live bait tank uh, has the pickup under here, uh, which, which is affixed to the transom. Pretty straightforward there. It goes into the into the uh, into the bait tank. The overflow holes are up the top here, and we've got our access port on top of the swim platform up here for easy access. Just leaning over the transom there, and uh, you get out your liveys, and away you go. So the Caravan 24 comes out with the V6 Mercruiser, 250 horsepower, 4.5 litre MPI. That's a mouthful. I think I got through that all right. <laughs> um, I've found this to be. A, excellent power plant for this boat um, to be honest I really wouldn't want any more power um, you know it's it, it, it gets it along very very nicely and you know look at three and a half uh, 3400 rpm uh, we sit comfortably on depending on wind and all that kind of stuff generally around 21 to 23 knots for 3400 rpm so, you know, if you bump it up to 4,000 to 4, RPM, um, you know, you're going to be sitting somewhere around that 28 knots-ish, which, you know, you just probably don't need to. It, it ups the fuel burn as well. Um, now, you're not going to hear me say anything bad about this boat because we absolutely love it, but I will say in the first few months, it did, it did chew up a water pump and that was covered under warranty. So, uh, lucky, lucky it didn't happen in a, in, a bad, uh, in a bad spot, but we were actually not too far from the marina. Um, that's the only negative thing I've got to say about this power plant. Um, it's been it's been a dream apart from that. So um, you've got <coughs> you've got batteries on the port and starboard side, either side of the engine there. Um, so everything's really easily accessible. Um, very much very much in tune with the uh, with the Bertram Caribbean, the Bertram 23s, and the Bertram Caribbean 25. Which, funny enough, that's what everybody thinks. <laughs> Hang on mate, that's what everybody thinks this boat is. Wherever we take it, everyone thinks it's a restored 25. Um, and I have to kind of go through the whole thing. Well, actually, it's, it's the newer 24. So because of the type of boating that we do, we do take a tender, and that's usually in a bag in the cockpit area here. It's not in there at the moment. <laughs> but I have, I have fitted a little Suzuki 2.5, which is the lightest in its class. So it's really easy to access. All I needed to do is just 
basically just drop down one of those um, one of those stair rungs to fit that in there and I found that to be the best spot on the boat for that and I can still get up the ladder relatively easy no, no dramas whatsoever it also stops the kids from climbing up the ladder as well which is which is good <laughs> um, okay what have we got in here so in the galley we've got we've got some we've got some we've got some cupboards plenty of storage in there the boat does have plenty of storage we've got the sink this is pretty pretty consistent with the 23s and 25s um, of yesteryear uh, and it hasn't really changed a lot so everything you're seeing here is um, is pretty common so also in the galley we've got the primus gas cooker um, initially they had the uh, the metho burner I believe they were um, so I have taken that out and we've put the um, we've put the gas cooker in there um, so we can eat um, we went with a white theme a lot of these 24s that you see have a, have a lot of timber trim um, which is I think it's outdated we had this boat specced all white and we think it just freshens it up it does keep that classic look we think mm -hmm. um, and it definitely it definitely uh, it sits well with us um, alrighty so okay um, chart plotter um, we're running the Garmin 8612 the unit is up on the on the top station and then we run a HDMI cable down which is very easy to do um, down to down to this uh, screen here and I'm using a, it's a touch screen so so this is an ELO ELO um, I bought it online and it's a um, it's basically a point of sale touch screen so I've got the one chart plotter unit upstairs and I can operate it from down here which is really awesome it saves the need to to have to have obviously dual, dual chart plotters and then because I've got that as a bit of a backup, I've just got the Garmin Striker um, 7SV there. And we've got one down here and one on the top station and they're linked as well. Um, what else we got down here? So the, the, Mercu the Mercruiser is obviously fitted with spark gauge, uh, all pretty standard stuff. We've got a VH, VH radio, uh, obviously hardwired in upstairs. So I carry a couple, of, a couple of handhelds as well for when I'm, I'm out in the boat kids and, and Emma on shore um, we can we can talk via VHF from the handheld there as well also accessible on the lower station is access to the fusion sound system as well mm -hmm. uh, plenty of storage under each seat this is this is the this is the ice box <laughs> um, this is storage um, the storage under the under the helm seat under on the bottom station here as well um, and if we have a look in the uh, have a look here aft we've got the cabin um, and we've fitted a TV in there as well, so the kids can watch their cartoons, and that keeps them occupied. All right, all right. Let's have a quick look up top. Let's look out the top. Yeah. Usually uh, the Caribbeans uh, come with the bench seat, um, so I've I've updated that with with a couple of um, a couple of seats there, uh, and I've I've gone with the. Um, the Todd Gloucester um, chairs, I, which I um, which I got in from the uh, from the states from the USA, um, and to do that, all I had to do was just was just knock up a, a new base for that for that seat box there, um, so I could so I could fit them on there. Um, also on the upper station, we've got a cover um, for all the electronics here, um, so everything's everything's water safe as well.